general teacher. Hello, guys. I'm so sorry, but... Hello. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Uh, electricity. Hello. Welcome, welcome, teacher. What happened, teacher? The power went off, so I had no electricity for a while. So I was like, oh, my God, what just happened? But thanks, God, it is back. So we're going to continue with the class. I'm so sorry, but we know these things okay. <laughs> happen, like, and we don't know when it's going to happen, right? But it was like, like three minutes or five minutes, something like that, right? Yeah, actually, like five minutes. So uh, I'm sorry about that, but we're back right here. So we, I don't even know where did I left. Where was the part that I was trying to explain it to you? Was it this one, right? Okay, we were here, right? Yes. All right, very good. So um, here we have some examples, like some example of this type of adjectives. Like for example, when it comes to opinion, on the number one, we have like four examples of adjectives right there. Like amazing, fantastic, wonderful, and awful. So those ones are adjectives used to give an opinion. For example, if I tell you, uh, like, the party was amazing. La fiesta fue increíble, right? I'm giving you my opinion. For the adjectives of size, length, or age, in this one we have small, big, tall, short, long, and huge. For physical quality, we have thick, thin, smooth, sharp, hard, and soft. For age, we have young, ancient, we have old, teenage, mature. For shape, we have square, round, circular, rectangular, and so on. For colors, we already have like, we know the colors, white, yellow, red, pink, black, green. For origin, when it comes to origin, we're talking about nationalities like Salvadorian, Spanish, <laughs> British, English, or French. When it comes to material, like plastic, like metal, like cotton, like gold, like wooden. And when it comes to purpose, it means it's something that we are doing, like cooking, cleaning, sewing, and washing. So I, I need you guys to remember this table. So keep in mind that for uh, the, like, the order that you need to follow, like number one, opinion, Number two, size, length, and age. Uh, for number three, physical quality. For age, five shape, six color, seven origin, eight material, and nine purpose. Why? Because here we have like, like kind of now. If I have right there, following the order, siguiendo este orden. How will these adjectives should be placed? ¿Cómo deberían ponerse? ¿En qué orden? Follow order. American. American? But what, what will be American? This American... Tall. Tall. Tall, black, um... Let me see. Tall. It will be number two. Tall. <laughs> ¿Cuál sería el siguiente? What will be the flag? Black. Let me see. Tall. Yeah, the color. Young. That won't be possible, Mario. 
Why? Because mm, as you no. can see here, we have Young. H on number yes. four. Young. So I will be tall, four. tall, young, tall, black, young, young, black, 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 uh, American. 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 Let's see. Right. It is a tall, young, black American player. That's, it sounds weird, right? Because you have four adjectives right there. A tall, young, black American player. But this is just an example of the placement or the order that you need to remember when you want to create a sentence. For example, here it says, if we translate that to Spanish, how would that sound? This word right there. How would that be in Spanish? Teacher, perdone, este, con lo anterior, lo del orden, en adjetivo, purpose, eh, agregamos ing, pero solamente en esos. In purpose, in, in this case, it's not like necessary for you to add ing. Not necessary. What I need you to remember about adjectives of purpose is but the most of the time we are going to use a bear, not necessarily in ing, but most of the time it will be in the ing form, but not always. But most of the time, what you need to understand is that on the purpose adjectives are going to be verbs because the verbs are the ones that are commonly used. Vamos a utilizar verbos que utilizamos, valga la redundancia, para un propósito. Como tenemos ahí el, el, el ejemplo, cocinar, limpiar, coser, like, like sewing, con una aguja, en washing, lavar. Si bien ahí están en ING, pero en este caso no están actuando como un gerundio, están actuando como un noun. Si yo digo cooking, no va a significar cocinando, sino cocinar. Porque cooking significa cocinando cuando es un gerundio. But in this case, it's not a gerund. It is a noun. I don't know if you understand. It is a noun acting as an adjective. It is, it is un sustantivo actuando como adjetivo. I know it, it will sound like, oh my God. Se explota la mente cuando viene toda esa información, right? but I'm just trying to give you like clues so you can understand a little bit. But I don't know if, you're, uh, if your question was, if I help you like answering the question, Lisa, or you still have a doubt. Well, she didn't say anything, so we're going to move forward. So um, here we have this example, the one that we were checking before. And as I was saying before, it is really important that you remember the order that you need to follow in order to create a sentence, right? So as this example, as you can see over there, we have four adjectives at this moment, and we are following the right order so you can remember that so but when it comes to a sentence how am i going to identify an adjective how how will that be possible when i have a sentence for example there are three questions that you will need to ask in order to find which one is going to be the adjective. For example, we have which one, how many, and what kind. If I have here, si tengo, if I have the sentence, it was the great cat. ¿Cómo voy a saber en, que en esta oración, in this, in this sentence, how am I going to identify 
which one it is the adjective. Really easy. I am just going to ask one of these three questions and automatically when I ask one of these three, three questions, the answer of that question will be the adjective. For example, if I have the sentence, it was the great cat. Which was the cat? The great cat. I don't know if you understand that. It's getting clear, guys. Please, if you have questions, let me know before we go to another part. What does significa which? Which? Well, do you remember yesterday? ¿Cuál era el dato? Ayer de... No entendí exactamente, teacher. Okay, yesterday we saw the which, it is when you have a two options, right? Or to give a much. But in this one, which one is significa cual? In this case, if I have the sentence, si tengo la, la oración, it was the great cat, fue el gato gris, right? Ahora vengo y yo trato de hacer una de estas tres preguntas para saber Dentro de esta oración, ¿cuál sería el adjetivo? Supongamos que tenemos un examen y en el examen les pregunta, identifique el adjetivo en una oración. And you have this example. It was the great cat. So, ustedes se preguntan, ¿cómo voy a saber? Y si tenemos tres preguntas que nos podemos hacer Y que estas tres preguntas nos van a ayudar a responder y a encontrar the adjective. For example. Uh, so, si yo digo, what kind of, what kind of cat? ¿Qué tipo de gato? What kind of cat? Does it make sense? ¿Tiene sentido? Si yo digo, what kind of cat? ¿Qué tipo de gato? Yes. El gris. Yes. Right? Y si yo digo, ¿cuál gato? ¿Cuál gato fue? El gris. You always give me the same, the same answer. Significa que estas dos preguntas me dan la respuesta de cuál es el adjetivo. Pero, ¿qué pasa si yo vengo y tengo y digo, how many the cat? Quiere decir que esa no es la pregunta que me va a... a, a a decir cuál es el adjetivo. Decir que en este caso yo no voy a usar esta, porque la que me da la respuesta es esta, which one and what kind. Let's see another example. We have, I like the black coffee. Me gusta el café negro. Si yo vengo y hago la pregunta, which one or which coffee, which coffee I like. ¿Cuál café me gusta? The black coffee. The black. Quiere decir que esta pregunta me ayuda también a saber el adjetivo. ¿Qué pasa si yo hago esta pregunta? What kind of coffee do I like? También me da la respuesta. Entonces me dice, ¿qué tipo de café te gusta? El negro. Pero si yo digo, how many coffee I like? It doesn't make sense, right? So... ¿Qué es lo que quiero que, que recuerden? Para saber encontrar un adjetivo, ustedes van a poder hacer, las tres preguntas se pueden hacer con una misma oración. Si la oración, si al momento de hacer la oración o hacer la pregunta con una de estas tres, les da una respuesta, quiere decir que entonces la respuesta que les dé, ese va a ser un adjetivo. I don't know if it is more clear right now. Puede ser eh, cualquiera de las dos respuestas o si en el caso también pueden ser las tres. Yeah, actually, the, 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 okay. the, the three ones are going to give you the same answer. Okay, thank you. All right, cool. So, things that are always true. When it comes to functions, 
adjectives are information gather, gatherer. Especially, they provide further information about an object size, shape, age, color, origin, material. Aquí va, estamos viendo los tipos de los que ya vimos, the order, right? So if I say, it's a big table. ¿Qué pregunta me puedo hacer aquí de las tres que ya vimos para saber qué es el adjetivo big? Can someone help me with that? Which one? Which one? ¿Cuál? Or which what table? Team? Or what kind of table? The big one, right? Very good. What if I... Like in this one, it is an English table. It is an English table. Which question do I have to ask in order to find the adjective English? What kind of table? Very good. What kind of table? Que tipo de mesa? The English one. In this case, the adjective English it is about origin. Y el origen está en qué número? Six. Six or seven. Let me see. Seven. 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 Very seven. good. So it means seven. you're paying attention. That's something very good. So here we have just some examples for you to understand. So uh, remember, guys, in order for you, para que ustedes sepan cuál es el adjetivo en una oración, si en algún momento llegan a tener un exam, just remember, these three questions are going to be the clue. Estas tres preguntas van a ser la base. Si ninguna de estas tres preguntas responde a algo en la oración, quiere decir que en la oración no hay adjetivo. All right? Keep that in mind. So, let me see. I'm going to ask some people that is not participating. Let me see. Um, I'm going to ask Heidi Miranda. Heidi, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, can you help me? Uh, with the first one. Can you correct the mistake? Can you find out the mistake? It is not correct or it is correct? It is not correct. Okay, so what will be the right the right way. ¿Cuál sería la forma correcta? I like green cars. I like green cars. Number number two. She is happy. The last one. Yes, mira yeah, cómo está. The last one. No, no. no. She a happy? tall woman. A tall woman. Woman. Very good. So it's very simple, guys, right? So remember, why do we place that? ¿Por qué ponemos el tall antes que woman? Porque el adjetivo, recuérdense que el adjetivo está describiendo, diciéndome que la mujer es alta. So I cannot say a woman tall. That's not the way it should be. And then number two, it was really simple, right? So I've been fácil because we already know that with the verb be, after the verb be, it will go the, the adjective. So it was really, really simple. So guys, any questions so far? No, teacher. All right. If there's no questions, I will, um, well, once again, take a picture, screenshot, or something like that. So let me know when it's done so we can move to the next one. Yeah, teacher. 
All right. Is it done? Yes. And the last one. All right. So in exercise two and three, what I need you to do is just give me the order. Or in this case, for example, if we have the, uh, the adjective big, to what type of adjective does this belong? Solo necesito que me den el tipo al que pertenece, right? Size. Like size, like that. So here you have the first one. Is it done? Thank you. For the Marlos. Yes. Yeah. You have to put the words in the right order. So we are going to go, guys, to the break rooms. Once again, guys, please, when you are there, try to practice your English. If you don't know how to say something, okay, it's okay. I will allow you to say it in Spanish. But if you know how to say something in English, try to do it. Okay, so I will be checking uh, each one of the groups. So please go ahead, guys, and try to work on this one. Thank you. I have a question. Go ahead, sir. Uh, I need to see the slide. Uh, done tips. Okay, let me see. Let me put it for you. Please. Just give me a moment. The group, the actor tips. Oh, the groups? Yes. All right, let me see. Can you see it? Yes, yes. Just give me a second. I will put it on a full screen. All right, just. Thank you. All right, is it done? Yes. Okay, cool. One, uh, one is the uh, we. Yes, we. We bought a new house. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's correct. We bought we bought a new, a house. new house. Yo creo que sí es correcto. And we bought house. And she she wear like green. Like green. She no. She like. No. She like sweater. Green sweater. Uh mm -hmm. yes. She like green sweater. She doesn't work. Uh, yes. Usually uh, doesn't, doesn't work on Friday, I think. That is. Oh, no. 
Well, we're done. Her daughter usually doesn't work on Friday. Friday. Work, okay. Work on Fridays. The fourth. Uh, Japanese ate the family in restaurant. Uh, Mm. The Japanese family ate in a restaurant. Mm. <coughs> restaurant Japanese. The restaurant is Japanese. Japanese is the adjective, no? Yes. Yes. Mm. The family. Eight in a Japanese restaurant. La familia comió en un restaurante japonés. Pero como uh -huh. no puede ir japonés al final, tendría que ser eh, Japanese restaurant. Yes. Ah. Okay. It's true. I think yeah. he's talking about mm -hmm. uh, the Japanese family, <laughs> not the Japanese, restaurant. Japanese, no, 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 no. Japanese. The restaurant is Japanese. Uh, I think <laughs> the family is I think, Japanese. I think that is. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Because the bear is eight, eight, eight and um, pass. Oh, okay. So the.
nos faltaría la última. Uh -huh. Dice que siempre se presenta de visita, de visita los domingos. Parento. Ah, el parent es como. I bit serious. Parento. Que es padre. I bit entonces sería el adjetivo sería ajá uh -huh. thank you sí parent sería
Well, okay, guys, I think that most of you have already completed the exercise, right? So we're going to go to the first part. And I don't know if you complete them all. Did you complete them all or you were still missing some parts? Did you complete it? Completed. Completed. Perfect. Later. Very good. So let me see. Uh, the group of I completed only two exercises. Two exercises. Okay. So in this case, I will need some help from the group of Mr. Alfred. Your group will have to give me the exercise number one, please. Every one of your group. Who was working with you, sir? You remember the names? Mm, I don't remember. <laughs> Mm. I, I was, number one, we bought a new house. We bought, we bought a new house. Very good. Yes. What number else? Two. She likes the green sweater. She likes the green sweater. A sweater is a sweater, right? So next one. Her daughter usually doesn't on work. Work on Friday. Her oh. daughter usually doesn't work on Fridays. Okay, cool. The next one. People, people who work with Mr. Alfred, go ahead. The family. <coughs> The family ate in a um, Japanese restaurant. The family ate in a Japanese restaurant. Very good. And the last one? I visit my parents always on Sunday. I always visit. I always visit my parents on Sundays. Very good. Okay. So exercise number two, Mr. No, let me see. The group of Tatiana Martinez. Do you yeah. remember who was working with you? La primera. No, who was working with you? Do you remember? Quienes trabajaron contigo? Ah, conmigo. Mario. Matriz y Roxana. Matriz y Roxana. Ok, very good. It will be between all of you, entre ustedes, you are going to give me the answers. So go ahead. Big size. Big size, ok. All, all eight. All eight, ok. Uh -huh. Great opinion. Great opinion. Very good. English. English. Origin. Origin. Very good. Wooden material. material. Wooden material. Very good. Electronic purpose. Purpose. Okay. Good. Terrible opinion. Opinion. Very good. Red color. Color. Thank you. Little side. Round shape. Shape. Very good. Thank you so much. Very well done job, guys. Very, very good. So let me see. The Hazel. Who was or who worked with you? Hazel Mariela. Do you remember who was working with you? Monica and Catherine. Monica and? Catherine. Catherine, okay. Between you all are going to help me with this exercise. Go ahead. No finished teacher. You didn't finish it? 
Okay, so in that case, let me see. Yeah. Who finished this, guys? Any group that finished it? Alguien que lo terminó, algún grupo? Or do we left this for tomorrow? Comfortable uh, opinion. Yes. Historical origin. Lonely opinion. Opinion. Ancient age. Age. Very good. Fair shape. Shape. Strange uh, opinion. Opinion. Right. Huge size. Huge size. Which. Uh, origin. Mm -hmm. Origin. Very good. Plastic material. Material. Uh -huh. Skinny size. Skinny size. Skinny size. Okay, very good, guys. Very, very good. You did a great job. So, um, thank you so much, guys, for attending once again to the class. It's so nice that, well, I can see that some of you already know uh, some information. That's something really good. I know, guys, that you're intelligent. Right, you just only have to lose fear. Perder el miedo to talk in English, right? We are here to learn. Estamos aquí para aprender, right? So if you make mistakes, okay, it's okay. Uh, but for, we learn from those mistakes. Aprendemos de esos errores, right? So thank you so much for coming, guys, once again. And uh, do not forget to keep working on the platform, okay? Thank you so much one more time and have a good night. Okay, good night. Thank good you. Night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye, teacher.